In this tutorial, we'll go over how to create and use a dependent drop-down control to filter the data on our dashboard. A dependent drop-down control uses another drop-down control to filter its values. This is especially helpful for a drop-down control that displays a large number of values, which might be difficult to search through. On our dashboard, we have a chart that lists our projects and the number of issues created in each project. We also already have a drop-down control created that filters the chart by project names. However, you can see our list of project names is quite extensive. To further narrow down our results, we'll create another drop-down control that filters by project type. We can then connect this new control to our first drop-down control to filter the project names by project type. To create our drop-down for project types, we'll select Control from the dashboard sidebar, then Drop-down. We'll name our drop-down control Project Type. We'll make it a multiple select drop-down, allowing multiple values to be selected in the control. We'll select an Atlassian Data Lake connection as the data source. Then we can expand the project table to select the project type column. We'll select Show Unfiltered Chart Data so any connected charts will ignore the drop-down until we select a value. Finally, we'll select Add to save the dropdown to our dashboard. We now need to connect our two dropdown controls together to create a dependent control. Keep in mind that the dependent dropdown control must be created using the control editor, as we need to add a filter to the controls query. Let's edit our project name's dropdown control by hovering over the control, opening the More Actions menu, then selecting Edit in Control Editor. To connect the two controls together, We'll need to add a filter by editing the query and selecting Add Filter. Then we'll select the Project Type column from the Project Table. We'll use the Is One of Filter operator and then select the Project Type variable to connect the two controls together. Let's save the edited control to the dashboard. We should now be able to filter our project name's control by specific project types. Before you select any values, you can see that the list of project names is still long. Let's go ahead and select Service Desk in our Project Type dropdown. Now, as we open the Project Name dropdown, we'll only see the Service Desk projects in the list, which makes it easier to filter our charts. We've now successfully created a dependent dropdown control on our dashboard. 